All right, then here we go with the last VOD. Um, from this day, this is, uh, I think we only played two games actually, but still, last VOD. Um, we're here on uh, King's Row, and I think this ends as a 3-2, or no, it's a 4-3. It's a 4-3 win for us. Um, so, yeah. Oh, all right, then. So, let's, uh, how does this, how does this go for us? We, okay, that's too far, I think. Yeah, that's probably too far. Uh, actually, this should be all right. Okay, so to start off with, we play, we play this high ground. Was our idea here? Well, I've never seen a research shield do that before. Uh, we play up on this high ground to start off with. Um, so far, this this position's pretty well. We have the May just down lower. Um, I think we we see what they're running, and we decide to drop pretty early. Our diva's somewhere around here as well. I think, right? Right, somewhere around here. Guess she's invisible. Yep. All right then. So they're able to melt the shield pretty quickly because of the, the far, and I think we make the call that we just want to drop down low ground pretty quickly. Um, because we don't really have too much to question. We have we have the May, we don't have the Ash, so we don't really have too much to question the far when she's up in the sky. It's kind of up to the divas. And for that to work, we really need to let them play more aggro than they are. Because the diva can't chase. Um, yeah, so we're just throwing tons of damage in. They've got the Tracer with the Mercy behind her right now, just running around this right side. So they're very split, and we're just kind of spamming. We're waiting for Orisa's shield to come back up, which is one second from now. Diva goes up to try and chase the Farah. We're just taking the flank angle, actually, I think. And then starts burning down the Farah. We chase the far the t tracer back into the back line. We have hopefully should have a Teresa shield that we can put back up. Oh, it got deleted really quickly by the tracer then. All right then. So this is very hard for us to do. They're running the double shield. We're running the diva instead. Um, but we have the May wall. So I would like to, especially at this point, you have the wall. Um, you could put a wall, and you kind of you kind of have to find a spot where it would work. But something like this would still temporarily cut off the Moira and this this Mercy as well. Um, and it stops, the, the bigger thing is it stops the retreat for the tanks. And if we stop the retreat for the tanks, then we can, you can go aggro on them, you can push them. And they don't really have anything you can they can do against that. So we, we get a kill on their Moira with the Echo, but they get the Echo back. We get their Farah. We get their oh they get our Moira in the back line as well with the tracer and the tracer's on our mercy now. Uh, they forced to use recall though. Mercy's still chasing. She pretty much has pulse bomb now as well. But we're able to chase her off. She has no cooldowns, so it doesn't really matter. We hit the diva with the pulse bomb. So the diva is able to get away without hurting anybody. They res their Moira. And they're pushing forward. But we have Arisa back. We have new shield in three. They Mercy gets in a very bad spot in the Tracer. We have to use the we have to use the Valkyrie to keep our Mercy alive on the Tracer dive. Diva gets the Tracer. We use the wall. Um Overall just it's just giving us control of the point. So that's that's fine to leave there. We're waiting for Arisa's shield to come back, which which is one second. Arisa gets very low. Um, but we're able to get a new shield up, we kill their fire again. Melting the Sigma shield right now. And we should be able to, at this point, we're stable to push aggro compared to them right now. So we have the May rotating through the hotel, who's on their back line. Yeah, we pop the coalescence to match their coalescence, that's fine. Um, no more notes in this fight though, we should be good. It should be winnable. Okay, we lose our Echo, but we get their Orisa. Chase the Sigma into here. And the Tracer is on our back line again. Pulse Bomb again. She doesn't get anything with it. We lose our Risa though. They use the Sigma ult. And I think the only one who's going to get hit by that is the May or the Mercy. So the Mercy's half after that. Diva Bomb gets two. 
So now it's just supports on point. They popped Valkyrie there for that fight. They popped Mail. Um, I think we called this out and we wanted to use the Mail tier. Um, I don't know if this is necessary. I don't think this is necessary at this point. I think we this fight was winnable without it. Because um, all we get with the Mail is the Moira. The Mercy and the Tracer back up anyways. And they get the res on the Farah, but the Mercy dies for that. The Farah is looking for her ultimate. I'm pretty sure of that. Is she setting up for it? She dies before she gets it in the place where she wants it to. Yurisa comes back on point. It's just trying to contest. Our Yurisa is getting back. We should be able to chase her down here. We could get a wall off or something like that. Yeah, we have the wall. We could try and wall off this doorway right here and stop them from getting all the way out. Doesn't matter. We can kill her up pretty quickly. New shield placement. And we're just holding here. So I may get hooked, which is unfortunate. Um, she should have the abilities to try and get out there, but... Oh, what the heck? Oh, we had a bit of an internet down, but um, I think this is about where we were. We had just killed the fire. She had ultimate. Um, yeah, the... We killed the Orisa. Yeah. And we just stabilize here. They have to regroup. I may get hooked. We have the abilities to help the May, I think. We do, she gets out. Risa pull. Fortunately, doesn't pull the hog out from where he was. So, matter, the Tracer's coming back. The Tracer will have Pulse Mulligan. They still have Barrage. They swap to the hog off of the Sigma. And then they have Bongo. As far as we go, we have Bongo to match. We have Valkyrie. We have Echo. We have Coalescence. And then we're about halfway to the other two. So we force the Tracer to use Recall. She has to back out. As far as the Risha shield goes, we have a new shield. Um, so we should be putting that back in a second to try and continue to stay at this point where we want to. Um, which for the most part, for the shielding and stuff like that, we want to be like right here. It gives us the ability to walk on a point and walk off if we need to. But being here means that the only sightline they have to even poke at our shield is they have to be in this area or somewhere on point for them to even be able to see our shield. So they have to play aggro and try and contest point just to just to shoot at us, um, which gives us advantage on the sight lines there. So we get the May with a right click. They pop the bongo. Should be putting down a new shield. We do, that's a bit far, but it does block the hook still. Which is good. They're probably going to be able to melt this one a lot easier than if it was further back. So we have to back up and use Hotel for cover. The fire is up above. We're aware of her. We pop our bongo in response. We don't have a shield for it. Um, that's one thing I think we'd like to work on is bongoing when you have the next shield and putting bongo behind the shield as opposed to putting bongo down in the middle. Um, though you do body block for it, so that works as well. You force them to back up with the bongo. So we have the better bongo because ours will last longer than theirs. We lose our May, so we should be able to res. We pop the coalescence, we get their faro with the, uh, the echo. Good shield placement. We go for the Valkyrie near the end of coalescence. I like that. I like the timing on that a lot more. Coalescence runs out, and we run and pop the Valkyrie. They res the Farah, we res the uh, May. And then we we go aggro. Now that they're now that they're equal again, we should back up. They put a good Arisa shield down. Their Tracer's on the back. She's gonna pulse bomb the Arisa. Um, usually the best move to do when you get pulse bomb is to stand still, unless something like the Bongos here, where you try and move to your left. Um, but when you get pulse bomb, the best thing to do is just to stand still and allow. Like, you know, t say I'm pulse bombed or whatever, and so your teammates, but don't don't try and move because it's very hard to coordinate not walking in the same direction. So the fire gets a couple with the ultimate. 
Um, they should be able to come and fight up. Realistically, we use the Diva Bomb, but we... They should be able to go out of it. Their Fire dies to it for some reason. Um, by the way, Diva's back. It's just Moira and Diva on point right now, trying to contest. Yep. And they kill the Diva. I don't think anyone even does come back. Oh, the May the May does come back. And I think we decide we're actually gonna engage. We're gonna try and recontest here. We probably should have waited. Okay, so for this engagement, the fact that we have four here, we probably should have waited until the Orisa could have been on point before we pop this ultimate. Um, because we can we can afford to have given up a tick or two in order to in order to win the fight ultimately. Even if we had given up first and second tick or something, if we had won the fight, it was still a valuable trade for us. We lose our Orisa, they're popping whole hog. So we force more ultimates out, we force Valkyrie out, just for them to fight up, and then we back out. So overall, I like this. We wasted time, we wasted ultimates. And now we have to regroup. So I think we lose our mercy to this tracer here. The tracer... Either one clips or pulse bombs, one of the two. Okay, yeah, pulse bomb from the D.Va. So we just we just need to call the back. We just don't even chase the tracer. Just get out if we can. Um, because we want we want a full regroup. We're able to tear our reset here. Um, as far as ultimates go for us now, uh, the only thing we have is Blizzard, and the only thing they have soon is they'll have Cola. Um, they're pretty close to Bongo. So. Fires up above us. So our Moira gets pulled in. She has Fade to get away though. How close are we to shield? We have a new shield now. So we put a new shield down. And with this new shield, we should want to play aggressive here. We probably throw the Mail in. Yeah. We lose our Echo to the Tracer in the back line. But we get the res off and the Tracer is very low on the mini. We have to back out. The Diva has to back out for heals. But we're going on frozen targets, which... Okay, they pop, they, we both pop Girl Essence to keep him alive. The Fire now has ultimate. We lose our Mei, but we res the Echo. The Tracer's up above us. The Echo's kind of chasing. The Tracer comes in. She doesn't have Pulse Bomb. She's just trying to farm. Should we force the recall? Pop the bomb. Bomb gets their Mercy. Here's the Risa very low. Um, so we're up in this fight. We should we we start decide to start playing aggro again. They use the pulse bomb. They miss. We should be able to keep everyone alive through that. Yep. The fire is back. We know the fire has barrage again, so we're probably watching for that. We're down a Risa shield, so we're just playing back. There's a tracer on the back line again. She has pulse bomb, I think, so she's probably gonna look for that. No, she's not. She's halfway to pulse bomb. We kill their Farah, which is huge. We know she has ultimate. Our mercy gets super low from the tracer, but we're able to keep her mercy alive. We should definitely focus on healing her, though. We have the juice, and we do. We give her the juice. The tracer chases in on our Reaper, gets him very low. He's going for the cleanup, but the the healing is there. Um, but yeah, there's not really much priority being put on her right now. We have the Reaper turning around for her. Now the Diva comes back. The Echo goes forward. They res the Fara, and the Echo's up ahead. I don't like this Echo positioning because you're on low ground while doing this. Um, I prefer the high ground route. If you wanna if you wanna be like off on a flank angle or whatever, taking the high ground is fine. But I you have so much mobility as Echo. Um, I think being on low ground is a bad choice if you're going to be pushing past the shield. We get the hook and the Echo, but they break the hook with the payload. Um, ultimates we have going in here right now. We pop Coalescence, we pop Bongo. We pop we pop Valk and Bo uh, Valk at the same time, especially with Bongo. Those all don't really stack very well. It's kind of a waste of the abilities. So we should, we should try and have staggered these. Sport ultimates, especially. 
Um, but the bongo as well. The bongo, the bongo and the moyer ult I'm fine with, but the putting the Valkyrie on top of that doesn't get too much value because the best way, the best thing they can do here is they just back up. And they pop their own Valkyrie now, and they have they have advantage on the Valkyrie fight. We lose our bongo to the tracer in the back line. Uh, the diva and the reaper both harass the Phara. My will made real. I think she'll die again as well. Yep. There's still this tracer in our backline, which I'm not exactly sure who, but I think the I think the fa I think the Echo is the one who really can respond to the tracer the best um, because she does have pretty good burst potential, and she can either force the recall or kill the tracer. So I think that's something with the target priority of the Echo being a flanker, um, we can kind of work on. Um, by the way, Hog pops his ultimate. We have the Fench Matrix to eat almost all of it. I put the Pulse Bomb on our D.Va. Our Moira is able to fade out of it. We lose our Mercy, though. The pulse Bomb. There's a Tracer on right. They have Barrage. The far is... On her way back, she'll be here soon. She has barrage for this fight. All right. So at this point, there's no target priority going on. We're down. We're down two, but we're on point. Mori's looking this way. Freezer's looking that way. Echo's looking that way. And Diva's changing targets over to that to the tracer. So the Diva chases the tracer, tells her to back off. Okay, so the Echo, Echo with the, the... Okay, so basically everyone here is harassing this Tracer now. Our Echo gets very low, but we should be able to heal her. Right, uh, we might lose her. Okay, no, the Echo misses the... Or the Tracer misses shots on the Moira. Moira's getting hit by the Hog now. She has to use her Fade to get out. We use the Echo Ultimate to turn into Hog. We pop Diva Bomb at the same time. And during that, they're able to get the... We used the D.Va bomb here when they had the fire ultimate, which is a bad choice. Um, we're supposed to be able to have defense matrix for that ultimate. We do kill immediately afterwards, but we do get D.Va D.Max, they pop Bongo, and they should be able to clean this fight up for them. In overtime, they cap the second. Which gives them a minute and a half to cap there. Um, as far as ultimates go, we have the ult advantage right now with the Reaper ultimate, um, but they have Pulse Palm as well. So we force the Tracer to back up to her team, but she has Pulse Palm, which she's going to be looking for. On this left side now. She throws the Pulse Palm, it misses. Um, so it gets nothing. Die, die, we put the Reaper die. down on the point, defense matrix him, keep him alive, and we should be able to bring that fight up pretty quickly. So going to this next fight, um, they pop Valkyrie to engage in this fight with. Um, the tracers are hitting through the horseshoe, um, but we have we have three up in this high ground, so she's not going to get too much value out of that, really. We drop the diva forward, and then we back up. We both pop coalescence. Tracers in the back line harassing the mercy, especially right now, but we force her to use recall. Diva lags out for a second. <laughs> Alright, so final fight territory. The Echo is up above. I don't like the Echo really playing on the low ground, but you're chasing the Mercy, so uh, I just don't like this positioning then. I don't like the Moyer's positioning on the point. Junkrat comes around, kills our uh, Arisa in the back. I'm just trying to keep our Reaper alive here, but 
We kill their mercy, which is huge for this fight. They have no mercy now. They've got five seconds left to cap. They use the hog ultimate to make some space. They clear the point. They are pushing the payload though, so I'm making, not making too much out of it. We use the roadhog ultimate, or we use the echo ultimate to become roadhog up in the high ground here. Drop down. I like this. We get the hook on the roadhog. hook on the junk rat. We get him half. And we maybe get the cleanup. I'm not sure. Uh, the Zarya is chasing forward on our Arisa here. Um, and we'll have barrier in two. We should be able to keep our Arisa alive through that. Um, the hog, fortunately, is too alone and isn't able to survive. The ultimate, we lose the Arisa to the tracer in the back. We just have Echo and Mercy on point right now. We lose the Echo. Um, Tracer gets the Moira, but they use Pulse Bomb for that. So Mercy is just trying to contest point. How did we... I don't want to figure out actually how we ended up with a baby diva. Yeah, where's her diva at this point in the fight? Oh, right there, okay. The Junkrat goes for the Orisa. I think he gets the, the two-shot combo on her in a second. Yeah, he gets, Orisa gets trapped. Do we have gold? Uh, no, we don't have gold, we just use gold. So yeah, they should just be able to burn down the Orisa, which is unfortunate, but damage boosted. So our Diva gets the max. Here's the Pog Ultimate. Alright, then, then our... That's what happens, our Diva lags out again. We pop the Hog. Tracer her uh, Tracer Zarya are able to kill our Arisa. Lyra comes back. She gets burned down. So they use the Pulse Bomb to try and finish that kill. The Mercy's just on point, stalling time. So the Baby Diva's back. We use the Reaper Ultimate, which kills their Tracer. Gets their Moira very low, forces recall. We try and play Agri with the Reaper. The Reaper gets two before he dies. They pop Tire. The Diva's on point, but they demech the Diva before she has Bomb. Uh, but we do have Recontest now. We have the Echo and we have the Orisa back on point. We have the Moira back on point. We used to fade it aggressively there um, to try and save the Echo, but I don't really like using the aggressive fade. We lose our Orisa again. Baby Diva dies. We go for the res. Um, I feel like there's more value in just waiting to recontest than to go for the res here. Um, we do have time for respawn, so. We chase the Zarya in our back line. We get her very low, but they have to use the Coalescence to save her. Hog's going for the hook. He's going to put the Risa off the point. But we did get the Bongo down. They're probably going to burn the Bongo down now. There's our Reaper. Diva's back. Diva lags out. Diva bomb on point, but I don't think anyone can touch now. Yep. So they finish in overtime, but it was a good last fight. Alright then. So then come in uh, our attack. So literally for our attack... Uh, we go... They, they keep the Junkrat, they keep the... Tracer, they keep they keep pretty much the same composition except for they're running the Ari the Zarya, which they were running at the end of the last point. Um, we swap to the Zarya as well, and we swap to the Lucio because we know they're going to be playing this Junkrat, or we we see the Junkrat, we decide we want to play the Zarya against the Junkrat, which is um, much better because the Junkrat wants to play high tempo. Zarya um, gets a lot more value from the Junkrat doing his high tempo stuff. So we push forward at main. Or actually, we, we decided to push through Hotel, and we all we speed boost through. This is a really good rotation by us to get us through main. Um, the Echo gets left behind, though. She gets stuck, and I think the Tracer might try and uh, clean this up. Um, we lose our Reaper to the Martyrdom. We lose our Lucio to the Trap, and I think that's 
probably this first fight. Oh, we fade forward with the Moira, but I think we just... It's a lost fight. We're trying to just clean up quickly. Or get cleaned up quickly. Sorry, the Arisa. They're just burning us down. Um, would have been nice if we could keep the Zarya alive through this fight. Um, if we lose our Arisa. The Moira's trying to keep the Zarya alive. We lose the Zarya. Um, and just more on point left. So, oops, they should be able to clean that up. But we have respawns right now. So we kill their Junkrat. So we know they're down their Junkrat, we know they're down their Mercy. So they're down two right now. The We should be backing up though, we shouldn't be going in three. I think we might have called this winnable, but we should have backed up and we should have we should have gotten respawns before. We should have waited for the Arisa. Once we had Arisa, this was winnable. Um, but now our Reaper gets killed. Because we don't have cooldowns to help him out. Tracer has to use Rico. I don't like the positioning on this Ariza shield. Um, there's not really much a point to putting the shield down there. It didn't help anyone get out and it didn't stop anyone from dying. It just put it on cooldown for when we go back in. So we just, with the big, the huge pull, we get their mercy again. We just play down main now. We're focusing on the Zarya. She has no bubble now. The Echo's harassing the, uh, Mo uh not the Moira, the uh, Orisa. They popped their coalescence. And we don't have a coalescence yet to respond with. And we should hopefully be able to keep our Orisa alive here. We lose our Moira to the pulse bomb, which is unfortunate. The Moira chases. The Lucio is split from his team, but he's on his way back. The Echo gets very low. We probably lose our Echo. Our Reaper gets pulled in, but we have Bubble to keep him alive. The Lucio's back to heal. Uh, we lose our Arisa. But we should be able to regroup then. Yeah, we should regroup. And going into the next fight, we have Coalesce, we have Grab. We're pretty close to Echo Ultimate. We're halfway to Reaper, we're halfway to Bongo. We hadn't used any Ultimates at this point. They were using ultimates every fight, pretty much. So, all in all, we, we do have... We're, we're favored for this fight. We have to get about a fan of this Arisa shield. I don't think we really need to put the shield down right here. But, um... We just kind of stabilize there. We start pushing forward. We pop the beat, which means we want to we want to be on speed boost. We want to be going fast. We're on the healing boost right now on Lucio. Hope we can the speed boost we do. We get a grab. We grab four. Um, we should clean this fight up. They pop the bongo to risk. They pop the bongo and attempt to keep them alive. And they pop the grab on to keep themselves alive in that. And I lost connection again. Why? All right, we like that again. But I this is the fight we're at. They res the Zarya, which I don't really know why. Um, but either way, we should be able to cap. They possibly go for the recontest. The Junkrat, I think, goes down for the recontest. Yeah, they do actually go for a recontest here. Um, so it's Zarya for the Arisa first. Um, they use the Rip Tire. She gets our Arisa. We're chasing the what is it? The Mercy in our back line. Which hopefully we get. Yeah, we get the we get her. Uh, do we have Zarya bubbles? We have three seconds on our projected bubble. So we chase probably the Arisa right now. Is who we change our target to. We lose our Reaper. I think we do clean this up though. All right, I thought we did. Farah gets there. Yes, yeah, so we swap the Echo to the Farah. We get there. Tracer, and we're just trying to stall this fight out as long as we can. We lose our Zarya. We get their Junkrat though. They miss the hook. Fire is here, and Fire just spams a ton of damage. Uh, they are able to. They actually do win the recontest here, so we have to regroup for this fight. Yeah, we miss, they miss the hook, but we're we have better respawns than them, and we should be able to win that fight up then. So that was actually a really good recontest by them. There's a hog on our backline. Mercy goes for the res. This is a bad res. We kill her. 
The hog breaks the bongo, but it doesn't matter, we win the fight. Now we have payload. Uh, we, the Zarya and the uh, Fara, start going forward. Because um, right now, the only person who's here, we should have been paying attention to the respawn menu. Um, but we should have seen in the respawns that the, tr the Junkrat was the only one forward, and everyone else had gotten bad spawn. Or had gotten far spawn. So we go to chase. And we hold up to this corner. I like this Orisa shield positioning. I think this is where this is where we want to hold right now. They're coming back in. The Junkrat spam, they break the shield. So we just force the back a little bit. We get their tracer on the left here. Uh, we lose our Moira into their Moira orb. So she was low from, I think, the tracer before. Which is going to put in the payload. Fire spam, we get their DMAC. Uh, we're chasing just here. Uh, and we call out that we're going to go for a barrage in a second. So we have barrage, we have Zarya bubble. Um, which is a good coordination. To make it pop the barrage, pop the bubble on the, on the fire. She cleans up two. She gets a third one before she does it. We kill. Yeah, we should be able to get everyone here. Good clean up here. We press the grab button by accident. I think that was. Uh, I was lagging out. I did that. Um, or was fat finger. I don't remember now. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. We didn't even need it. We cap sex. Tracer. Nice. They go for the rip tire. Rip tire gets our Lucio. And we had used beat. We had already used beat. We used the beat early for the tire. So we get their Marvel though, we lose our Mario. We lose our Farah. I think they can even fight up possibly. Yeah, I think they do. So yeah, they, they clean up the fight. And we just have to regroup. We have a minute, we have one more fight. We are pretty we're about halfway to grab. We have Death Blossom, we're pretty close to Bongo, and we're halfway to our Barrage. The only ultimate they have, and that they're even close to, is Bongo. So they have Bongo, we have we have Death Blossom. So I think we bubble the Death Blossom, which is our coordinated fight. This one, we kill the Tracer on the back line. So they're already down one, we pop Bongo. Yeah, we pop Bongo, and we pull them in. We use the Death Blossom, we bubble the Reaper. The Death Blossom, they pop their Bongo, but it gets deleted immediately. They just got Moira on the point, we cap the point. So then we're going into third. Uh, going into third, we're pretty close to grab. We just use Bongo, we're pretty close to barrage again. So I think that's. And then, yes, the Reaper is up here, the Zarya is up here, and we're just making space up as far forward as we can, for as long as we can. Our Moira gets hooked, but the Fade, she is able to probably get away. The Reaper gets hit by the Conk Mine and everything, but he has his Fade, so he should be okay. So the Tracer is rotating through Horseshoe. Zarya's on payload. Everyone's pushing the payload. We unlock the grav. They use their mercy ultimate. They use the defense matrix. And as soon as the defense matrix wears out, we see they can't block grav for a full second. We grab them. This big grav hits three of them. And we pop the fire barrage on the grav. She demax the diva. Gets the hog pretty low. Kills the junk rat. And then, uh, yes, the far so they have a baby diva. They also have a tracer in the back line. Who I think she just used recall to end up here. So we should be able to clean it up. We should definitely have called out that she had the. She had that. We pull. They pulse bomb the Lucio, but we have bubble to protect him from that. The tracer pushes four. She's as far as we know, she probably shouldn't have recall right now, right? Yeah, she's still down uh, quite a bit. The Mercy goes for a res. Um, I don't think we can contest that though. So she's gonna get the res off, but she'll die afterwards. No, okay. She just barely dies. We get the knockoff on the hog. That's really big. We pop our coalescence. Let's just trace her on point. We clean that up. Diva comes back on this left side. She'll have bomb, but I don't think she even makes a point with the bomb. They get a junk right on point though. She's just junk right on point. Or Lucio's trap, but we bubble him, get him through that. We pop our beat, their mercy's on point, we kill the mercy, we kill the Lucio, we kill the hog, we on the diva, we get the diva, and that's just May. She's just stalling. What they want to do here is they want to stall this extra 50 seconds, because now that they have, actually no, now that they stalled the one minute mark, they're fine. Um, the ve if we had finished, if we had capped with two minutes, then they don't get another attack. The fact that they didn't, or the fact that they got us down to 30 seconds when we capped, 
um, we'll just have a better time bank than they have. They have the Wrecking Ball on point, and we go for grab, which launches the Hammond off the map. Go for Hog, we pop Lago, and we clean up. So we have a minute and 28, they have a minute. Um, and then going into this fight, um, I think they lose someone before the fight starts. So, yeah, yep. The fight is starting. So we, we call them A. We call them, we play them A. We play the low ground with the Zarya Arisa, which really is not a very great composition, but we're running the high tempo is the idea, and we were expecting the Junkrat, but they run the Far instead. Either way, it still kind of works. We run the Far in response, we run the May. They push forward. And we don't get the wall we intended on getting, but we still get the... We still get the Sigma, um, and we just back out from the wall. Their Reaper rotates through the right side here. Um, but we're able to... This was really big. We get the freeze on him. I think he... Does he use his Wraith to aggress here? He uses his Wraith aggressively here. So he's not able to escape the freeze. And we burn him down very quickly. So we chase their Zarya now, who's way aggro from where she should be. She dies for that. Uh, yeah, this is a very one fight for us. We should be pushing just crazy stupid forward at this point now. They're playing ground Vara. We kill the ground Vara. We're chasing the Sigma now. He has no hand, but Zarya doesn't care about his hand. We get a wall that stops their supports from getting out. This is a good placement of the wall. We kill their Mercy. It's just the Moira now. We kill the Moira. They use the monkey to try and recontest. They have 10 seconds left to retouch. Monkey dies before he touches. If far is on her way in, but she might not even have time to touch the point. She does, but she dies for it. The hog touches the point again. They pop the coalescence. We lose our Moira to the junk spam. We get a big pull, but we're on the hog right now. We go for the res, but I think we lose our mercy instead of getting the res. So now we're down, we're down both supports. They pop the coalescence. We have we have both DPS on point, and we have both. So we pop the we pop the far ultimate, and we I think we throw a grab into that as well. We lose our Arisa. We get their Junkrat. We get their Lucio. We get their hog. Our Moira is forced to use Fade. Our Farah has killed, what, three there with that ultimate. The monkey's back on point. The Farah flies up. So she's low, but the Moira can't hit her right now. Um, and the main thing is making sure we keep our Mei alive. Because she doesn't have Ice Block in another four seconds. We need to make sure she doesn't die because Bli or Blizzard will win us this fight. So the Moira eventually gets the Farah. But the Mei is here to get the Moira. She's able to hide in the bubble. But we have... We have the blizzard, so we put the blizzard on point. Which forces the Moira to use her fade. She's behind us now. Get her. The fire retouches. The fire, I think she has... No, she doesn't have barrage. Yep, we clean that up. And we win. And somewhere along the line there, uh, they had a lever. Which I think was their second tank. Another flex tank who leaves. So they they try and run the Symmetra May, the Risa, and then the Moira Ana composition. But I mean they're down one, so they try and do the same thing with the May wall. May wall, they just mess it up, so everyone gets through it. May goes for the freeze on our Moira, but we save the Moira. She's able to fade away. We kill the May for it. We go forward. We get a pull. Keeps them on point. So far as taking the right side angle. To get some spam damage and we get their May. Uh, their uh, the, 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 the Symmetra very low. We kill the Symmetra. And we just push forward. They're down one. They're down one. Like they have a lever and then they're also down. And we win that fight. Victory. So, last fight. We just cleaned up. Um. But it was a good it was a good hold for us on our second point, and we did pretty well on our first hold, and our attack was pretty good as well. So all in all, that was actually pretty good. Um, 
So yeah, the main things I did see were there were a couple times we played aggro with ultimates that we didn't need to. A couple times we used we used more ultimates than we needed to for a fight. We didn't stagger support ultimates. And we we didn't focus on targets still. We're still not really great at that. Um, so that's why we're going to be doing more practice on that probably today or tomorrow to do with uh, shot calling and stuff like that. 